Okay, boys. Okay, okay, okay. We are live. What is going on, boys? My brand, brave little Spidey, resubmitted the channel. Recommitted to the channel. Three months. What's up, baby? How's everybody doing tonight? Mm. Sunday, fun day, the Lord's Day. Man, oh man, oh man. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. What up, Debo? What up, Lee? What up, Turn Element? Let's get right into it, boys. Okay. Yesterday, we had the return of the greatest of all time in mixed martial arts. John Jones. John Big Dick Bones Jones came back after taking three months off from competing at the highest level of martial arts. A mixed martial arts. What up, Hunter? How was your day? It was good, man. A lot of birthday parties. Say that. Now we're stuck on Johnny Big Dick Bones Jones. Okay. Comes back after fighting, taking three years, not three months, three years off. Okay, did I say three months? I apologize. Three years. Tell you guys right now. If I took three years off from fighting, I wouldn't be coming back. <laughs> I would not be coming back. But the most oppressive thing about John Jones' return to the octagon was probably how easily he dismantled Zero Gane. Yeah. I did not work with Jones leading up there, Debo. I did not. He left when I got there. But. When Jones was going to fight Surogani, I told him, I told Henry the biggest thing that I'm worried about is Surogani's movement, right? Because John Jones has a skill set to do whatever he wants in the, in the cage. I've always believed in that. Even when we fought in the same cards, you know, UFC, UFC 191 when he fought, uh, I think that was uh, Osain o Proofs, I think, OSP. I always felt he can do whatever he wanted to an opponent. It was just a matter of time when he wanted to do it when when he didn't want to do it. When he fought uh, Rampage Jackson, I felt like when he pulled guard on Rampage Jackson, I was like, yeah, he can do whatever he wants to Rampage too. But the biggest thing that I take away from that fight is that John Jones didn't need to gain 50 pounds to do what he did to Serial Gun. He didn't need... He, he, John Jones doesn't need to be heavyweight. John Jones could have done that if he was 205, right? If you look at all the great athletes who've gone up and weight and became a champion, you know, you look at Conor McGregor, you look at Henry Cejudo, those guys went down a weight class and then they went back to their natural weight class to become champions. You look at Conor McGregor, dropped down to 145, beat everybody, knocked out Josie Aldo, went back up to 155, his natural weight, knocked out, <clears throat> knocked out uh, Eddie Alvarez. Look at Henry Cejudo. He dropped down to 125, and then he beat me, and then he moved up to 135, beat Marl Marais, and then he became the double champ champ. Now, you have a special case where you have guys try to do that, and they come up short, like Volkanovski. He went up to fight Islam Magachev. He could have won that fight. That fight could have went either way. Um, you look at Israel Adesanya. Uh, he went, he's 185 185-pound champ, the middleweight champ. He was, but he went up to light heavyweight and try to beat uh Lakovic, right but those two gentlemen came up short and i think they became up they came up short because they lacked the size i don't think uh volkanovsky lost his size i think his could have gone either way i think you know he was he was taken into islam so we won't use him for an example we'll use israel out of santa for example because you saw a clear-cut difference when he went up to uh, light heavyweight to win that world title against uh, Blakovich, is he lacked two things. One was the size. He was way smaller than Blakovich. And he also lacked the skill set to beat Blakovich with the wrestling and the grappling. Now, we look at the anomaly of the sport, which is John Jones, right? The GOAT. Takes three years off of mixed martial arts. Takes two years off to gain all this weight to become the heavyweight champion of the world of the UFC. Me personally, I don't think he needed to gain all that weight. The reason why I said say this is because John Jones has a better skill set than anybody at heavyweight. Let that sink in for a little bit. Let that sink in for a little bit. Hey, I should be recording this because this would be good 
This would be a good, uh, you know, watch, but all the 200 viewers here can get this from the, from the baby goat's mouth. Okay. Is John Jones skill set is far more superior than everybody at heavyweight. You look at Francis Nagano. He has a lot of knockout power, not very good wrestling, not very good jujitsu. Look at Sogane, great footwork, knockout power, not very good wrestling, not very good jujitsu. You look at Steven Miocic. Steven Miocic doesn't really have a ground game. He doesn't, he's not really known for his knockout power. He's really known for his cardio and his combinations. Okay. John Jones has displayed knockout power, he's displayed grappling ability, wrestling ability. And the biggest thing, too, is that John Jones is 6'4, 6'5. So he's actually fighting guys that are his height. Right? So do I think John Jones should have gained all that weight? No. I would like to see him stay at 205 or 225. 225 fucking shredded. Not 225. Not 253 is now, but it is what it is. But I think John Jones could have done what he did to Gane at 205 because his skill set's so much better than his. I always say this, and I'll 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 have this written on my gravestone. Mixed martial arts is the easiest sport to become a world champion in. The reason why I say this is because you could take someone who's very high level in one aspect of the fight game and put him in a game where you have no fucking idea what's going on. Like John Jones literally just sat on. Suragani's lap and choked him out. He literally sat on his lap. He sat on he sat on his lap and says, "Give it to me, Daddy." And he choked him out. <clears throat> Suragani had no answer. He didn't hand fight. He didn't push his hips away. He didn't push his hips away and kick his feet, kick John Jones' base, disturb his base. He literally let John Jones sat on his lap and finish him with a front choke. That's literally what happened, right? I would show you guys it, but there was no hand fight. There was there was nothing. And that's why I say John Jones didn't, doesn't, didn't need to gain 200, uh, be 250 to do what he did to Surogane, right? Even when he fights Stipe. Now, let's look ahead. Now, let's look ahead to Stipe Miocic. Okay? John Jones is going to get in that ass. I, I like Stipe, but I, I don't think they realize that John Jones is... I mean, I've, I've worked out with him in the same room, and I've always... John Jones is going to be way more dynamic than Stipe. He's gonna wrestle. He's just the same size as Stipe. I don't think Stipe is gonna get as faster than John Jones. I don't think his combination is gonna be as good as John Jones. And John Jones is gonna, he's just gonna tear him apart. Like, like, could you imagine if John Jones was still 225? Fast, lean, mean, quick. Like, now, I think him having all that weight on, I think it's. He is a little bit slower than he was when he was at 205, but he's going to he's gonna beat Steven Miocic, and then there's nobody else for him to fight. And if he was to fight Francis Nagano, he would have done the same thing to Francis Nagano that he did to Surogane. He would have taken him down, passed his guard, and submit him. And that's what you see from a high-caliber athlete like that, is you study what your opponent's good at, and you take them out of that realm where they're successful, and you put them in a realm where they don't know how to breathe or even swim. And that's what we saw Saturday night. Okay, man, I need to start doing more talks like this. 307 viewers in here and only fucking 73 likes. Jesus Christ, people. God, I'm not asking for tips. I'm asking for you guys to like the fucking stream. My man Vargas, the newest daddy of the community, recommitted to the channel for five months. I appreciate that, Vargas. I hope you and baby Nat and that beautiful daughter of yours is doing well okay now let's go to alexis Grasso taking on valentina shevchenko okay now if you guys are now just joining us welcome if you guys have been with me since my twitch days you guys know how i feel about spinning shit i don't throw spinning shit in the gym i don't like spinning shit in the gym i don't like how my teammates throw spinning shit in the gym and the reason why I don't like spinning stuff is because for one split second, you turn your back to your opponent. In every dark blue moon, there is an opportunity for your opponent to take advantage when you turn your back on them. Okay. And just so it happened, last night was one of those dark blue moons that popped up and you saw this little... Grasso, little grasshopper, jumped on the longest 
reigning champion in the women's division of the UFC. Shevchenko turned her back, trying to throw a spinning back kick. And little grasshopper jumped on her back, got the hooks in, and ended her reign. I had Destiny picked out. Destined that Valentina Shevchenko would break my all-time consecutive title defense record. She was going on her eighth consecutive title defense. I told everybody that I had her, I envisioned her beating my record, right? John Jones has the most title fights. I have the most consecutive title defenses. And I think Anderson Silva has the longest reign. I think he's like 4,000 days or something like that. So with that being said, I think that fight was going back and forth. I felt uh, Grasso did a good job of stopping uh, Shevchenko's combinations. I think Grasso did a good job of understanding that in the later rounds that Valentina Shevchenko wanted to get her down, which is very uncommon for Shevchenko. I felt that she kind of negated her Muay Thai clinch and her body kicks, which you've seen her do in the previous past. And maybe she was worried about getting taken down by Grasso. Um, but then Valentina Shevchenko did a good job about trying to get her down and be on top of her, be the bigger, bigger athlete, the bigger female. Uh, but once Grasso was able to figure that, figure that out, uh, she was able to lower her elevation, start landing that that cross, switch from southpaw to orthodox. I think that kind of confused uh, Valentina Shevchenko. One of the things that Shevchenko does that her opponents can really take advantage of is that she sits at a distance. She sits there and hovers. She's a hoverer, right? She'll sit here. So this is if this is uh, Shevchenko right here, and this is Grasso. This is this is Shevchenko. This is Grasso. Grasso is doing this. She's going back and forth. While Valentina Shevchenko just sits here. She sits here, and then once she comes in, she da da she dabs out. She jab she she dabs out of there. And Grasso did a good job of switching from orthodox to southpaw. When you do that, you're changing the angle and you're changing your opponent's footwork when you do that, especially when they sit there and they just hover. So that was good on Grasso, but this is why I don't like throwing spinning stuff. It is cool to throw spinning stuff if your distance is correct, but when you see something who's trying to pressure you, you never want to throw spinning stuff because you do give up your back. You lose sight of your opponent for one second. And all it does to take in this sport is one second for somebody to climb on your back and choke you out. So. Can you ditch the background track, BJ? Absolutely, BG Bats. Absolutely. You don't like it? I like it. I'll put some other music on for my boy. Put some more music on, okay? I like Synth Wave. It's kind of my thing. So, all right, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna take some questions. We're gonna look at the chat and see what you guys think about the fight. Um, the Kazakhstan guy, he was amazing. He did great. BJ, explain the casuals how that and nasty face crank is yeah it's fucking horrible you break your jaw <laughs> like didn't you guys see the, the the oppression like let me see like you can break that's how you break somebody's jaw like alexa grasso did a good job like you can't see her bottom jaw guys her bo her bottom jaw is about to get fucking broke like that's what happens like if you get your arms locked, you just you just squeeze and you break their jaw. Literally. Like your jaw is like hinged right here. It doesn't take much to break the jaw. Yeah, and she's fully behind the head. You break the jaw. And what you why you do that is because if you start compressing the jaw, right? And you also have the uh the arteries on the, around it, you know, both sides, you compress the jaw and then the person either is get their jaw broke. Or they go like this. They raise their neck and the choke comes exposed. Street Beats in the chat. What up, Street Beats? What's up, my man? What up, Street Beats? How you doing, baby? Uh, do you think uh, Turner deserves the win over Gamrot in the split decision? The Gamrot. You know, that fight was back and forth. That was a good back and forth fight. Can Stevie stop Jones? He can, he can, he can definitely, it's possible for John Jones to lose, but I just don't think. I mean, I don't think he has. I don't think he's gonna be able to beat him. I think pound, uh, for pound for pound, you beat John Jones. I, I, you know, nowadays people ask you like, man, if there is one fight you would want to take, like no size or whatever, I wouldn't fight John Jones. I think the biggest thing I can do against John Jones that I think people would be surprised with, and I even think Henry Sudo have the same thing, is that me 
and John Jones are probably one of the most complete athletes on the mixed martial arts roster. What I mean by that is that John Jones can grapple. I can grapple. Uh, we can both wrestle. Um, I believe I have a better clinch game than John Jones. Um, I think stand-up wise, kickboxing wise, I think it's both good. We both have knockouts. Um, if I was 6'4 and he was 6'4, I would probably be like 225 shredded. You would probably be, you know, where he's at now or maybe shredded. I think that would be a great fight. I've always wanted to fight GSP, but I think John Jones is way more dynamic. I've always believed in that John Jones has always been the most dynamic guy in mixed martial arts. Do you think Cody Garbrandt wrestling was good? Yeah, I think his wrestling was good. I think the biggest thing that Cody Garbrandt is uh, not suffering for, but I think the biggest thing he's um, going through is he's been knocked out before. And when you get knocked out more, what happens is your body gets used to shutting off. That makes sense? Like once your chin goes, it goes. Um, luckily, my chin has been able to test some hard punches from Rod Tang fight. But, you know, when you get blasted on all four with a knee to the face, there's nothing you can do. Your body can't withstand that. But I, I think Cody Love looked great. It was a good uh, fight for him to get back on track in the win column. Not a very tough opponent. But I think, uh, I think you're going to see more from Cody Garbrandt. Uh, man, I'm so excited for Diablo, bro. Dude, I am super pumped for Diablo 4, Hobo Chase. How about the gold edition? All right, let's see some more questions. I'm going to get to playing video games. Hey, my name MMA Guru says that, John's, uh, that Jones beat his partner. Do you think it's true? You know what? I'm not too concerned what Jones does outside of the, you know, in his personal life. Obviously, um, he's had trouble with the law. And I hope he's turned a new page of him being older. And obviously, his fiance, Jesse, was there. It seems like they worked out their, their issues. And I wish that for the best for them. And I hope they go on to have a beautiful marriage. And maybe more babies. Who knows? Uh, then on a TV, thank you for a committed channel for three months. What did you exactly two months from now? I'm going to be in Colorado to watch you. Like, when can we buy the merch? I want to rep the squad out there. Uh, Animal TV merch is available in the details below. Pick up some merch if you want, ladies and gentlemen. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, Carter Garment is also a great fighter, and you see they're struggling out a lot a bit. I mean, I'm gonna struggle. I mean, for however long I'm gonna fight for. There's going to come point in time you're going to see me struggle too when I fight. It is what it is. Like, we all can't be as fast as we were when we we're at 26, 27, 28. It's, it's just the, the science of the human of the human body. We're always going to break down, right? Uh, can Volk beat Habib after what he did to Islam? Absolutely. I think the biggest thing about Khabib was Habib was very uh, great conditioning, understood how to fight, and he would stick to game plan and he would execute game plans very very well so that's something hard that uh, Volkanovski would have to beat I think Volkanovski has a skill set to do it um Madison do another member recommitted for three months god bless you guys thank you guys so much for the support I don't know DJ I'm doing good thick beard okay money uh, how would you see a Volk versus Henry matchup going Ethan Brandon I think the biggest thing with those two going in is that Henry is going to be the small athlete and Volk is fast. Henry is just as fast. Um, I think it would see a good dog fight between those two. I truly believe that. Um, what you did switch of emotions and fighting under more dangerous rules makes a different level uh, than everyone else. But John is the coolest and two greatest fights. Yeah, I mean, yeah, me switching over to one championship and fighting up at, you know, 135. And also more dangerous rules. I mean, they're, they're uh, both rules are dangerous, but to be able to get blasted in the face when you're on all four is definitely something I'm still trying to figure out how to go about doing, getting up back to my feet safely. But um, yeah, you know, and I've always said this too. I think if you consider one of the greatest, in, one of the greatest in the world, you got to fight on both sides of the pond. When I mean both sides of the pond, I mean fight for different promotions, right? You know, I fought for the UFC. I also fight for one championship. Look, Rampage Jackson, he fought for Pride, Dream, and nice fighting for he fought for the UFC Bell, uh, and, Bell, and Bellator. Um, where John Jones won't get that opportunity. And I don't think he needs that opportunity because when you're making that much money, there's no other reason to go out there and seek different competition. All right, a couple more questions, and then we're going to move on to some gaming, boys. Uh, do you think Steven has a chance versus Jones? I think he has a chance, but that chance is very slim. Like I said, I don't think John Jones needs to be heavyweight to be able to do what he did to the heavyweight division 
Like if John Jones was the same height as DC, yeah, maybe he needs to get bigger, but John Jones skill set makes up for the size difference. Yeah, his his skill set makes up for the size difference, just like mine. When I fought at 135 back in 2011, 2012, my skill set got me to a world title fight. I was way small. When I fought Dominic Cruz, I was 138 pounds. I went five rounds with him, right? Imagine if I was like five, five, seven and 155 pounds and fought him. Like the size would have been, I wouldn't have got fucking suplex, I hope. <laughs> Ooh, how do I think the trilogy between Uzma versus Edwards will play out? Do you think Edwards will have the more confidence coming in this fight? Another thing right there. I think you have Kamar Usman, who's a great grappler, a phenomenal wrestler who needs to get back to what he's good at. Take Edwards down, pass his guard, round a pound, and submit him. Um, don't stand with Edwards. Uh... And you know, Edwards has got to use his footwork. He's used footwork. He's he's he throw straight punches, long kicks, and make Uzma take a bad shot. When he takes that bad shot, make him pay for it. But that's gonna be a great fight. The show is gonna be really good. Who are my top five fighters of all time? Does Fado make the cut? Fado does not make my cut. For me, when it comes to the top five greatest fighters of all time, since we're on this talk and rant. I usually say Dylan, 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 Dylan. Okay, if you guys know who those are, then you understand the joke. But I would say John Jones is definitely up there. Uh, I believe John Jones could do everything. And for me, I don't really care about how many wins you have, how many championships you got. I like to look at people who can do everything. If I was to grapple against John Jones, would he be able to keep up with me? Would he understand what X guard is? Would he understand what going to the legs is? Does he understand? You know, different guards in different positions. I believe he does. Um, you know, another person that I think is one of the greatest of all time, you know, a lot of you guys don't give him love, but I think Bibiano. Bibiano is fucking good. I mean, the longest one championship at uh, Bantamweight champion of the world and also a dream champion, five-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. I mean, his ground is just nasty. I mean, Bibiano is something special. Uh, I mean... Rage and Diesel TV, thank you so much for recommended to the channel for three months in a row. Um, also, you look at a guy like Gregor Musasi, never won a world championship, but he can do it all. If you look back when he fought uh, Jacare, uh, amazing ground game, amazing stand up, and he's still fighting this day. He's never won a world title, but in my book, I would etch him on my mountain. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, who, who else? I mean, those are the guys who come to my mind right now. Like, I like to look at athletes who can do it all. Like, I want to see guys do everything. You know, I, I can, you know, I would love to put Israel Adesanya up there, but he's only kickboxing. I need to see him go out there, do a Muay Thai clinch, double like fucking takedown, pass guard, a flying armbar. I need, I need more. I need more. You know, I, I, I love Conor McGregor, but I would love to see more from his grappling. Habib, I would love to see, I wanted to see Habib fight more. Henry Cejudo, I would throw him up there too, but I want to see more from Henry Cejudo's grappling. His stand up is phenomenal, but his grappling, his pure grappling, like taking somebody's back, putting the hooks in, looking for the choke, looking for arm bar, passing guard. He gets mounted. You know, I want to see him do work off his back. Like for me, I look for the complete fighter. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't care about how many championships you won. I want to see the complete fighter. I look for a complete, completeness in my, in my, in my mountain. And you know, even with Musashi, I would say sometimes he shows up, sometimes he doesn't. When Musashi shows up, he's fucking on fire. When he doesn't show up, it's almost like a, a dead egg. Uh, the Phoenix, save for the Dome 99. A goat needs to represent outside the cage as well. That's true, but that's I don't care about your antics outside of the cage. Right? I want to see. I, I'm I'm basing your skill set. You guys ask me how good. It's like Michael Jackson. Do I agree with Michael Jackson touching all them little kids' booty holes? Absolutely not. But I can't take away the fact that he's a fucking phenomenal uh, musician and his music still holds to this holds up to this time. Just like R. Kelly. Do I agree with R. Kelly peeing on them little children and the girls? Absolutely not. But the motherfucker could sing. Let's not get it twisted, boys. We're judging John Jones on his skill set, not in his home at home antics. Okay, let's get it twisted. Let's not get it twisted. Okay, not get it twisted. I'm judging these gentlemen off their skill set, not what they do at home. Okay, All right? You guys can't tell me if I put on a fucking Thriller right now, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't like that song because he touches people booty. He touches little kids booty holes. You're like, you know what? Michael Jackson had some very 
troubling at home issues. But damn, can he fucking hit a note? I think it's cold. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little discussion of me talking about John Jones. I think I should do this a lot more. A lot of people in the channel. It could also be Sunday, too. And a big fight afterwards. But I think John Jones is the GOAT. I think he's going to blow through Stipe. I think Stipe has a tall mountain to overcome. In order for Stipe to beat John Jones, this is what Stipe needs to do. He needs to take the fight to John Jones. He needs to fight John Jones in the clinch. He needs to fight John Jones in the wrestling. And do not try to outstrike John Jones because he's way longer than you. Right? You need to draw John Jones. You need to make John Jones overextend and have him be overly confident with his hands. But if you look at all John Jones' fights, he never overextends. He understands his range. He understands his kicking. He likes to use that front teeth kick to make people stay at bay. Like, that's why the biggest thing I think John Jones won't have a hard time with Stipe. When Stipe thrives and when he beats people is by grinding them down. You look at when he beat Francis Nagano. You look when he beat uh, Fabricio for Doom and so forth and so forth. He always grinds him down and outbeats him. When he beat Daniel Cormier for the second time, that was a fucking war, right? But Stipe kept on going. So that's one thing that we can expect from Stipe when he fights John Jones is he's got to take the fight to John Jones. You cannot let John Jones use that mystic goat aura around him. You have to take that fight to him. And that is how Steep is going to be able to get it done. It's going to be a long... He's got a very big mountain to climb where John Jones needs to go back home. If I was John Jones now, I'd be like, okay, I've shown that I'm strong enough. Let's make me more shredded. Let's make me lean. Let's make a lean bone. John Bones Jones. Let's make me lean. Okay. A lean heavyweight, whew. It, it, it's just, yeah. So we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. But quick commercial break while we wait, load up the game. And we're going to play some Elden Booty. And we'll still talk about mixed martial arts if you guys want to. But I think that's going to be a great fight for both guys. And I think John Jones is going to take it very serious, which he always does. I don't think, you know, like I've never done cocaine and beat somebody up. So I, I mean... Who is this guy? All right. Uh, would you ever train with Jones? Oh, absolutely. I was going to... Um, Henry Suhudo told me he wanted me to come out and train with him um, in uh, Arizona. But I told him I don't just... I can't just pack up and leave and go train. But great fight, man. Great fight from those guys. Well, I mean, great, great, great fight from uh, John Jones. Maybe he's not the top five. Stop it. I mean, everybody's going to have their own personal opinion about who's top five, right? Like, shit. I'm not even John Jones top five, which I'm okay with that, right? He has, I believe John Jones top five is uh, Anderson, Habib, Aldo, GSP, and I can't remember the fourth person is, and himself, I think he said, right? Which is totally fine. Everybody has their own personal opinion of like who should be here and whatnot. You know, I'm over here, right? Yeah. I think I'm right here, right? Drive to the Tempest. I think I'm here. Diesel equals trap. Oh my God. I mean, Daniel Cormier, he's great too. Okay, I killed the, du the duos. I killed them. Aim here. Oh, God. And that fucker didn't fall down. Want to do the big sword building it? Well, since we're fighting Melina, I think it's smart that we don't do big sword. I think we're going to lead everything we have to kill Molina, so. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, we killed him. I think it's this way. This way. 
Uh, DJ is the daddy goat of all fighters. Nah, I'll, I'll be the baby goat. I don't mind being baby goat. And the fact that Henry Suhudo predicted that, uh... That kind of finish sequence is, uh... Pretty crazy. I mean, we look at the horizon. What's next? Benny versus Ooh, Benny. I think that fight. I think uh, Benny's just got to take it to Charles. Right? I think Charles has a hard time with people who take the fight to him. And I think if Benny can take the fight to Charles, I think uh, we can see Benny get the next title shot at 150. Who's the champion at 155? Oh, that's Islam. That's right. My bad. Yeah, I think um, I think you'll see Benny beat Charles. But if Charles, I mean, I honestly think, like, if you guys look at it, anybody who takes the fight to the other opponent, like saying, "No, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fight," they pretty much win the fight. Like, if you look at John Jones last night, he took the fight to Cyril. Like, he was like, "I'm jumping. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the fight to you. I'm not gonna let you set up. I'm not gonna let you do anything." He ended up winning the fight. You look at Alexis Grasso. I mean, she tr she took the fight to Shevchenko. Um, and it was a war. I mean, they were going back and forth. But she wasn't worried about, like, crossing distance. These fucking birds, boys. I tell you right now. So, uh, yeah, you look, you look at Volkanovski, he took the fight to Islam and he pretty much damn near won that fight. I mean, depending on who, who, who you ask it, right? All the, all the MMA fans are like, what the fuck is this game, mate? I mean, you look at Michael Chandler versus uh, Conor McGregor. If Michael Chandler goes out there and wrestles the hell out of Conor, it, it, Conor's going to have a hard day. Very hard day. But we also know Michael Chandler loves to fucking entertain. This loves to entertain. And one thing that Connor has that will give Michael Chandler uh, trouble is he's very precise when he fucking throws. Always very precise when he throws. Give me another fucking bird. Oh my gosh. Mike Taylor. I go back. I can't. Hang on. I got the shock factor for my greatest UDG. The suplex of armbar. BJ Penn doing Diego head, uh, head kick. Head out. Mark Hunt. Mike Taylor, thank you for that. Twenty dollar donations. I hope in the last few year, the last few years I got left of my career, I hope I can give you some more goosebumps. What is going on here, guys? That you hit his fucking feet, please. Thank you. I should not be taking this long. Oh, damn time. Fuck. 
Okay. Are you ever worried about retiring too late? Do you have a consecutive loss? At that point, you want to stop retiring? Yeah. I already know when I want to retire, boys. I'm not... I, I know how many fights I want to do left. I don't care if I win or lose. When I... I gave myself a certain time when I'm going to retire and... I'm going to retire. Ethan, Brandon, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You get up here and, and try to heal before I get killed by these nogs. Oh my God. What a bastard. Rami Diaz. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ, what can I do for you to make a new character as a new game plus? I'm sure I'm not the only one that wants to see a fully new journey. Um, you're actually the first person who said anything about a brand new journey. So. Where do we die at? We died right there, which would probably be here. I mean, you do a brand new journey from scratch. Whew. That's a lot, my friend. No, 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 no. I don't want no strategies. I want to do it from scratch. A DLC is coming soon. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to get to a point in the game where it's like, boom, I'm ready to rock and roll. Mr. Beach, you have the game? Have you installed it yet? What are you waiting for? How the fuck did I get over here? Oh, you know, I probably haven't sat there yet. It's weird. Grow up. A 400 viewers, boys. Or some Elden booty. Man, oh man. I mean, I should do a brand new fresh playthrough for these viewers. Second eight coming out soon, man. I'm looking. You know what? I'm. I'm. Uh, God, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not really looking forward to Tekken eight. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of juggling. I'm not a big fan of the touch of death. I'm not a big fan of getting somebody, somebody give me the air and they're just playing with me. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I choose any fighter physical attributes then add your skills and mind who would it be ooh probably Conor McGregor's precision yeah I'll say Conor McGregor's precision is probably what was just fucking there is probably the thing I would take how precise he is for his uh his distance control is pretty damn good probably one of the best out there in my opinion Worst training injury I've ever had. I mean, training injuries are part of training. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably say probably groin tears. What about Connor's timing? No, I don't need his timing. I just need his pre how pre precise he is when he throws. He's very precise when he throws. Timing. I had timing. I mean, I fucking threw a flying knee when someone went into the cage. I'm not a big fan of Sea of Thieves. I call it Sea of Booty. That's what I call it. I call it Sea of Booty. Am I accounting for the high altitude in Colorado? Yes, I am. I'm going to Colorado early. So there'll be a point in... Where we won't have a stream for a little bit. I'm going to go to Colorado and get acclimated. All right, we're going to... Should we fight the Dragon Lord again, boys? Oh, my good. Oh, my good. Dragon Lord again or pass on the Dragon Lord? Slay the Dragon Lord. All right. 
Do Dragon Lord. I have not. Nah, I have tried the PvP game. I have tried the PvP, but I don't have any more red orbs, so I can't go invade people's worlds. But I do want to go invade people's worlds, so. I just want to kill the uh, Dragon Lord. I want to kill the Dragon Lord. Once we kill him, then we'll go continue. And then I want to go get some more red uh, fingers. I'm going to try to uh, invade. You can get infinity red for red orbs. How do I get infinity red orbs? Is it easy or is it hard? Damn it, dragon booty. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to go to the arena. I want to I want to invade somebody's world and stop their progression. I want to be an asshole. That's that's what I'm looking to do. I'm a pretty nice guy in real life, but in this game, I like to try to be the a-hole. Uh, any fan meet and greets for the event in Colorado gonna happen of uh, the animal TV? No, no meet and greets, man. I'm there and I'm focused on whooping ass and chewing bubble gum. When's your next, when am I fighting next? Uh, April, no, May uh, 5th. Well, if you guys do want some mighty gaming, uh, merchandise, look in the description, pick up. We do have one mixed muscle, bleh, mixed martial arts shirt. All out of bubblegum. All right, here we go, boys. DJ, I think back at the topic of spinning techniques when I learned how to throw a wheel kick and turning side kick, uh, the one thing I would get caught with in sparring was always pressure. Yeah, because you always pressure the hell out of someone they're going to do spinning shit. Seeking the Mayo, yes, sir. A volcano manner or do white mass various quests for the finger to evade infinity. I already beat volcano manner, but how? Right, let me focus real quick. It's one. Okay. Fuck. God damn it. I didn't get his timing now. I wanted to one shot him. Oh my god, boys. God damn it, man. Alright, let's, let's let's get it. Oh my god, I'm I'm so embarrassed right now. Oh my god. I am so embarrassed. If you guys saw that, please don't judge that that boss fight. I am way better than that. Okay. Oh my god. Don't judge that either. I forgot to call the elevator up. Yeah, laugh it up. L laugh it up, Chuckles. Laugh it up. Damn it. Oh my god. Damn, Jory Central. Saying it's one of the worst boss runs he's seen. Okay, we're gonna send this bad boy back up. Okay, so we'll kill this boss. How long is the quest line for Volcano Manor to get the uh the red thing? Because I already killed the boss in Volcano Manor, but I don't know the quest line to get the actual uh, thing I'm looking for. Use a lantern? Would I go back to the UFC? No, I would not. Because one, I know I know my end date, and two, I would never make 125 ever again. And three, I don't think I'll ever make it back there. You get it if you just walk it's in the manor and open all the doors, I think. Okay. I think I know that, chat. All right, let me focus. Let me, get, let me go cop this guy's cheeks. How hard did Throgden kick you? Oh, he kicked me. I mean, he kicked me. I've been kicked harder by my coach, so. 
One. Okay. One. Another one. Boom. I can aim it two more times. Hey, that shouldn't hit me. Bullshit. God, you gotta run faster than that, dog. And that fucking tail! There we go. I say this is probably one of my, my favorite boss fights. Where's my bleed damage? All right, ace two boys. This is the one part I don't like about this fight is how Okay, there he is. Okay, there he is. You cocksucker. This part right here is so sick. Where the fuck is he? Is this Dragon Ball Z time right here? Brawly? Brawly mouth? Oh, fuck. It's Brawly mouth time. Here we go. What? Fucking high. Game boys. Done, boys. Ugh. Easy. Was that two shots? Two shot boys? Uh tail cuts. Uh that's the one thing I miss about Dark Souls 1 is cutting the tails off of the dragons. I think 
I would love to see that. And you get some cool ass uh, dragon. Um, you get some pretty cool things from that. Okay. So, you guys said if I go to Volcano Manor, I can just go in there and get what I needed. I hear that correctly? Oh, I get three. So, we'll go one, two, bigger. Um, I think maybe more decks. And I love more, some arcane. Correct. Okay. So, let's do it. So, if I remember correctly, Volcano Manor is here. And we want to talk to this chick. Imagine a dragon summon. That will be fire. That would be sick. So we're here. You, it's true then. You've defeated our lord. Uh oh. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is immortal, mm -hmm. and will until then. I must stay the path. Okay. I will leave the volcano manor before long. Okay. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The ch I always was. This is farewell. Perhaps we will meet again, along the path. Are they killed? Should I kill this bitch? Oh, I can't kill her. This is perhaps we will. All right, so okay, uh, in the walkway to the right, yeah, 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 right here. Is that right there? Is that what I'm looking for? Hey, DJ, I highly regard you as the best fighter ever. My question is, uh, what are your thoughts on Domino Cruz and what you put him up in the greatest of all time? He's my personal favorite fighter. Um. Yeah, Domino Cruz is probably one of the best um, Bantamweights champions we've ever seen. Um, his footwork and everything he's done for the division. Um, definitely up there. Is this the figure you guys are talking about right here? A letter from Volcano Manor. Look at this letter state, boys. All right, so I can grab three people all damn day. Do another run with magic or heavy build. I mean, I could. I mean, 424 viewers is pretty nice viewership. Okay, we got there. We'll see. Okay. All right, we're here. Okay, let's go fight Malikith real quick. Kill Molly Keith and we'll go hunt. We'll go hunt some people. Sign your plan, loves. Where's another? No, I already killed that boss. I don't have to go that way. Yeah, I mean, if you guys, I mean, if the channel wants another magic build playthrough, I mean, I can do that from the beginning. I mean, the thing I don't like about magic builds is it takes fucking forever to kill everybody. I mean, heavy builds. I mean, I did do um, the flame mopper, the flame sword. I mean, excuse me, the flame. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, there's nothing like blood blood build. So much so much better. God damn it.
Too greedy. Damn it. Oh my god. Dead. Fucking A man. God damn it. Hey, DJ must not know about a uh, common Azure. I think I had the common Azure. Have you fought Melina yet? Mario Ultimate Art and I have not. This is this playthrough is for to fight Melina. I got the common Azure. Don't I? I have the Dark Moon Great Sword. And where are you, Comet? I want to do a whip playthrough. I think that'd be dope. Where the hell's my Comet at? Right here. I have the meteorite staff. Oh. Light. I think I have the common Azura. Hey, with a $2 donation, do you ever play with ants or PvP them? Um, no, I have not. Not in this game. Where are my spells at? Where is I have a common Azura. I already have that. It's a big giant goddamn common my eye wave. Wrong thing. Rip. What's he shooting? Swing that hammer, Daddy. Fuck! Why am I sitting here fighting this guy? This is an annoying tree sentinel. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm fighting him. He's gonna give me like five thousand souls to say good job. Um, uh, mods timeout neighborhood blitz. Uh, he's trying to get DJ to say bad things. Who's trying to get me to say? I'll ban him. What's his name? I don't see him. When I see him again, I'll shut him out. Neighborhood blitz ball. That's him, huh? I'll get him out of here, boys. Don't you worry. I'm sorry. I'll time him out. He's in timeout, boys. Don't worry about it. We put him in timeout. Don't worry. He'll come back. That's him. <laughs> He's like, that's a motherfucker. Get him, boys. Banish him. He's been sent to the Elder Room, boys. All right, boys, we kick this. Fuck! Ah, damn it! Uh, advice for uh, first time with DJ: Just have fun. Take it easy, nice and slow. Take it easy, nice and slow. Just like anything, man. First time making macaroni cheese. First time making bacon. You don't want to rush the process, baby. You rush the process, you're going to end up with some burnt-ass macaroni cheese and some crusty-ass bacon. Take your time. Just like the first time in bed, boys. Take your time. Enjoy the moment.
these fucking guys, man. You and your fucking shanty horse. Damn it. Uh, go like OG, oh, thank you for the five dollar donation. Hey DJ, greeting from Brazil. It's an honor to talk to you. The night is lucky. That flying arm bars are not allowed in this game. You're damn right. And oi, como vai? Sua familia. Hmm? Bom dia. Where the hell's my sword? Alright, one more time, then we're gonna skip this guy. Then I'm gonna go kill some people and ruin their day. I'm at, actually I'm getting slashed. I'm gonna try this. I'll get it. He's got slash damage right there. Ah, uh, you bastard. You gotta dodge that, champ! Get your fucking ass up, man. Fuck. Oh my god. All right, no more fucking lecture shooting. Just kidding. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sick of fuck this. Fuck this man. from so he can throw fuck you and your horse oh that's right it's this fucking boss I have no goddamn health Jesus fucking Christ guys I can't speak anymore Here's a little ADJ thanks for all the awesome content question who wins the match uh ups in European Shabak or Hazmat John Jones versus Sergi Pobla I got John Jones and the Shava vs. Hazmat will be a great fight. Even a final donation. I think the hardest thing is that the dude who fought last night, Shabbat, he's fucking tough. He can take a shot and give a shot. And he's got great cardio and he recovers really, really well. Power 3 RG, have you ever used a death used a death poker? So underrated. I have not.
Incredible. I was literally behind him. Oh my god! Man, when you fucking pansy. I fucking hate this boss, guys. Damn bleed damage. Fuck oh, man. The fucking horse stepped on me, man. I got my man Bruno Silva. My man Bruno out there in Arizona combat. Fight ready. Training one of the best. Henry Cejudo. No, fuck that. I want to kill this guy. He's pissing me off. You piece of shit. Why your horse got them stupid ass bat wings on it? It's fucking deep. What the fuck is going on here, man? Fucking corner. Come on. Bring you and your ugly ass horse out there. Come on. Come on. You motherfucker, dude.
Fuck you! Ah, sucker. You're all that fucking armor. My shit. Alright, I have one fucking health left. While we're here, why not we try it? How did you I gotta bounce? Uh, I'll be back uh, for more streams later. I personally love Sunday Fight Talk stream. Also, enter my other ring playthrough would be dope. That's it for me. See ya. Thank you, Ethan, Brandon. I saw some of that. All right, here we go. All right, boys. Who do we have here, boys? Get fucking back here, you sons of bitches. God damn it. Lucky. We'll do it again, boys. They're going to fight me and, and that elder. I have no interest in playing Hogwarts, man. Unfortunately, I don't really care about being a wizard. Do you ever host fight tournaments in Elder Ring? I should. That'd be fun. Okay, maybe this is a bad area to run the ring, but I'm going to go kill this boss. Let's see if I can one-shot him. That was expected. I shall not fight with him. That was to be expected because I had no health. I'll kill him this time. Reveal the Any thoughts on playing Overwatch 2? Uh, you know, the thing with Overwatch 2, they're just not enough. I don't. Overwatch 2 is a, a team based game where you need to have a team with you to play it. Melee Keep is my favorite boss. He's a pretty dope boss. That's my favorite armor in the game so far. Oh, I know. Daddy D got it. I got it. I one shot on my first playthrough. Your fingers always smell like you poop. Got any to help? Yeah, stop playing with your butthole. That should clear it up. At least. Oh, here we go. We need to get out of this because there's a edge right there. Hey, dumbass, bring him over here. Fuck. game is called Elden Ring, aka Elden Booty. This is where my my buddy Chris stopped. We had a bet for hundred dollars you can beat the game in sixty hours.
Holy shit, that hail. That blade was taking my life away. Man, this boss take looks so much like Berserk armor. I love it. Oh, dude, Berserk is an amazing anime. Thoughts on Johnny Bones? Uh, Richard Peterson, you missed the beginning of the stream, but I said John Jones made it look easy. I honestly believe that he doesn't need to be a heavyweight to do what he did to him last night. Uh, favorite boss fight? Uh, Dragon, the, the Dragon Lord. I believe John Jones could have done what he did to Gane at light heavyweight. one you need his ass whooped over there boys that bleed that 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 siphon of the a siphon is so fucking hard to deal with how how's your juicy new setup what up Kempo daddy joey new setup is juicy man um i know i think i need to do like a like a not a tiktok but like basically like a reel with some music on my new setup i think i might do it tonight How are you, man? Daddy in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, use Mimic Tear in second phase only. Yeah, I can do that. But, uh, excuse me. shot ah oh, fuck the goddamn heels man power before Maliki the black bleed I'll get him this time do a no armor attempt right real quick okay you want to see you want to see my guys you want to see his uh you want to see what I'm... You want to see me rock. You want to see the glisten on my cheeks. Look at them cheeks, boys. I don't want to show you the front. I don't want you to be jealous of the bulge. T 
DJ, I, I think the wrestler wins all day if it's MMA fight. Look at that bulge, boys. You guys wish you had a bulge like that. All right. Rocking the fucking GP, the granny panty, boys. We'll do it again, butt-ass naked. Explain the mechanics. Okay, I'll try to explain the mechanics. This boss mechanics are a little bit different than other bosses. I think this is as long as I ever fought this boss because the first time I played him, I killed him the first attempt. But he has a blade in the second phase where it hit. if it hits you, it takes like a third of your life and it honestly, it keeps on draining your life almost like a dot, which is damage over time. Um, yeah, dude, I'm shocked. Like one of my sack doesn't fall out. You don't care. John Jones return. That's okay. It's your personal opinion. Does that then he, that's his uh, AOE, not AOE, but his, this is an attack. He grabs the ground, throws some stuff at you, and he's running around. No! Ah! I don't like finding him in that fucking mat on that edge. And I just fell off, so that's what happened. And I got 1.3 million to get choked out in two minutes. That's what he got paid? They they released the um, pay already? Damn, 1.3 million. God. That was a fucking waste. Most fighters don't get paid, honestly. Enough. Yeah, I mean, that's true. You know, it'll be nice if we all made shitload of money. Use the Sonic cheat code. Yeah, up, 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 down, 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 left, right, down, left, right. All right, here we go. Thank you guys so much for the views and the likes. 400 likes. I think it's probably the most liked stream ever. Appreciate you guys. How do you watch review you fight coming up, DJ? Um, how do you watch your preview? My fight's not preview. It's on Amazon Prime. It's free. I mean, Fedor was amazing. He, um, Fedor Milenko has done some amazing things in his time. In his time in mixed martial arts. So if this blade hits you,
What ass thing, boys? Wow, it hit me and I'm pretty much almost fucked. Damn it, man. Uh, I got the second half of the Emmers for their secret left around. I went there and stopped in the mountains. Okay. Kevin Brady, appreciate that, brother. Um, I just, I'm pretty fucking busy. I've been so busy trying to stream do sponsor streams like last my last uh, video I did uh, butterfly versus gas tank was sponsored by raid shadow legend so go check that out boys get that video a like uh, and also check out raid shadow legends if you guys play the game um, but with all that stuff I'm so busy I, I don't even think I have time for other projects man I'm so focused on growing the YouTube channel my goal is to hit 200,000 uh, this year that's my goal. Fuck. Atticus Glenn, thank you for that two dollar donation. You spin with the mac and cheese and the lodge. I'm trying to man. I can't take this nice and slow. He's not giving me the opportunity to take it nice and slow. I gotta push it. I went right into that. Yeah, I'm taking that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Let a motherfucker get his attention. You gotta be fucking getting. What are you doing over there? Get your naked ass up, mate. Alright, here we go. We're going for boys. Ah! This is for you, boys. You should do a Last of Us review. I still haven't watched the show, to be honest. Kempo Joe, it's amazing. I have not played the game, but I plan on playing the game at the end of March. It's absolutely amazing. Like, like it, it does a good job of, like, I remember watching The Walking Dead and the first like five seasons or six seasons were amazing. But after a while, the zombies didn't really matter because they, they walk so slow, they were just, Super zombies, and I kind of fell out of love with The Walking Dead because everybody was just trying to fucking rip each other off. I like, nobody had no um, what's what I'm looking for, ain't no hope for humanity. Where I feel like The Last of Us, you know, we're only in the first season, but I feel like they have hope for humanity. Well, there is hope for humanity, obviously. So um, that's why I think it makes that show so good. Fucking damn, he hit so goddamn hard. Oh. 
You gotta dodge that shit, dumbass. Not like that. God damn, man. Yo, DJ was wondering where the Twitch streams were, but here you are. Uh, yeah, I too, yeah, I stopped streaming on Twitch for almost a year now. Well, by six months. I'm sitting here butt ass naked because somebody thought it'd be cute. No, I'm gonna play Kempo Joe. I'm gonna play it. I'm in a different part of my, I don't really talk about my streaming career, but I felt when I played the last, not the last, but what was the last game I played? I was single player, beat it all the way through. Oh, uh, Celestial Protocol. I think the uh, chat actually uh, enjoyed it. And yes, Twitch is, I mean, YouTube is way better than Twitch. For me, at least. I think the only thing I'm missing on doing on, on my YouTube is running more commercials. That's the only thing I feel like I'm missing. Get him over here, please. You dumb fucker. You don't want to have him over here. He's just going to want to fall off the fucking... Oh. Nobody wants to listen to me. Thank you. Fuck. This fucking boss, man. Damn, put my armor back on. Yana Mirab. Whew. That's going to be sick. But I think Mirab's going to maul his ass. I think Mirab is going to maul him. I don't think he's going to give uh, him an opportunity to get anything going. He's going to take what he learned from... Um, what's his name? His teammate. And he's going to do everything to keep him on his back. Yeah, he's tough. I think I got lucky the first time I played him. I one shot at him the first time. I got to him and I literally just murked him. Easy B, the freeway scene in the fog was nuts and Abby hanging. Sheesh. I can't wait to play the game, Campo. Are, they sure? Are you setting up a second stream studio in Arizona? Give yeah, Joe, no. I, I try to use when I go to Arizona, like my time off from streaming, just try to just chill, relax with the kids and the wife. Um, as of right now. And the house isn't big enough to have a studio. Fuck, man. You gonna do some asshole or are you just gonna... Act like you got some goddamn sense and dodge some of that shit, please. Fuck on one. Fuck. 
I can't keep track of him. Don't mind me dodging. Fucking B's not registering. Uh. Ever plan on coaching? No, I don't want to coach. I'll coach my kids, but I don't want to coach uh, MMA. Like, I don't mind helping out, but I think being a coach takes a lot of dedication and a lot of time away from your family. And I've already spent enough time away from my family as an athlete. Anyone want to get into Bully Beatdown? That show was hella old. So the ad revenue is better on Twitch. No, 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 Like, I really don't run ad commercial. I don't really run ads on my streams when I... Somebody told me I should. But like, dude, you're missing a huge opportunity to make, like, extra money. That you can be getting, you know, not from the viewers' pockets, but just from ads. And, like, with Twitch, you can actually, like, set up, or like, every... Like every 30 minutes it runs an ad, a like three minute ad. On YouTube you have to run it, set, like run it manually, I think. I could not imagine fighting this boss. As a caster. Like this shit would be horrible as a caster. Or maybe on my own. Commercial break. Twitch seven ads every 30 minutes at worst moments. Yeah, I, that's why I don't mind running ads just when I fucking get my ass kicked. Uh, who's your personal favorite fighter? Ooh, that's hard, man. I have a lot. Does fight day feel different when you wake up? Mm, I think fight day when you wake up, it feels like a sense of uh, accomplishment. Like, it's like everything you train for for eight weeks or whatever you train, however long you train for. Jose is coming, comes to a head. Thoughts of Mexicans? They're amazing. I mean, they're great people. All people are great. Budokai, Tink Chat. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you guys. I think the best Dragon Ball Z fighting game has already been out, and that's Dragon Ball um, Fighter Z. Let's not fuck this up. Instead of jumping up and doing shit, just fucking die. Okay. Go! Mm. Let's turn this this My man, brave little spider, drop out a ten dollars. What needs to be done to get more badass icons? Do we need to choke people out on the mat? What icons do you want, brave little spider? You talking about emojis? Emotes? 
You want some more emotes? Like, what are you talking about? Hit me up in Discord and I'll see if I take care of it. I mean, you guys got some pretty sexy moist ones already. I would do the moist emote, but I don't want to get banned on YouTube as well. Let them cook. I love that saying. Let them cook. 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 I forgot about this area too. God damn it. All right. We need more here. Like those? Well, you guys don't really use the emoji con, so that's why I don't really like hate to get them done. All right, boys. It's time to start going after people. Whatever considered commentator for one championship? Absolutely. I've done it before in the last uh, Prime event. Um, when Mikey Michi fought in a Super Bond fought. Vladimir Shevchen Shevchenko. Welcome. Dude, your guy looks dope. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm not going down there. I'm going right to the boss. Okay, it's 835. We're gonna do about probably now, 10, 15 more minutes when we get off here. I mean 329 viewers, my goosh. Do you guys like escaping Tarkov? I already talked about John Bunny Jones. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Did it go cool? die twice? I don't like that game. Or did I get really bad? It's not bad, Campo. Don't don't listen to all the shit you heard. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I could kill this guy. That's right. The fuck what you got to say yeah, this guy's so fuck oh, shit Down back triangle. <laughs> Cannot kill a god. Hey, now is it this way? Oh, it's the same way. Okay, so we're gonna get to this last one. I'm gonna get a couple of fights at the homeboy, and then we'll uh, go off somewhere else and go do some PvP. And then once we kill this boss, then we'll go try to find Melina. I don't know where she's at. And then um, we'll beat the game and wait for the DLC to come out and not do a new game plus. I know a lot of people want me to do a new game, a new playthrough as a different, but I don't know if I am or not. Good night, Brave Little Spidey. Have a good night. And Brave Little Spidey, hit me up in Discord on what emojicons you would like to see. Let's, uh, let's go do some PvP. That here. We're going to go back here. There we go. Thank you, real deep.
Thank you, uh, Brave Little Spider. I still love PvP, boys. Go ruin people's days. Actually, I think I went too far. We crossed there. This is where we want to go right here. This one. And want to know the name of this katana. It reminds you of the uh, Shukra Charge from Bloodborne. It's called Rivers of Blood. Rivers of Mighty. Maybe I should invade worlds everywhere instead of nearby only. Everybody Half Life? I have played Half Life. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go everywhere. Both near and far. We should watch a YouTube video. If that scene was supposed to be a diss, but it was super interesting and gave me a lot of respect for you. Any, anyway, hope you're having a great time. Much love. Thank you. Get a crack and appreciate that. They stop by saying hello. What's that I had in this game was South Lime Grave. Mm. I got Uzman versus Leon the trilogy. I don't know, dude. I think anyone in those guys would never fight. I will play the new Counter Strike when it drops. Yes. Even though I'm not a fan of Counter Strike 1 now from the shooting, but when I was a kid, I really enjoyed Counter Strike. Fuck, man, where's everybody at? I can invade them. Oh my god. Look how fucking big that thing is. Rush him. I want to see it kill something up. Is he? I can kill it. I'll try to kill it. Grimy ass hands. Lewis, thank you for the $10 donation. I hate myself always arguing with my friends, and honestly, I feel the top 10 featherweights would beat the top 10 middleweights. Did you say sword fight? Because if swords, spears, etc. were involved, do you agree? Love from Australia. Ooh, I don't know, man. I mean, those guys who are middleweight are going to be a lot taller and longer than us, so I don't know. That's hard to say. 
dude, why can I like not invade somebody's world? Like, there's a guy right there. Let me fuck his world up. I already killed the fire giant. All right, well, I don't think it's gonna let me like invade anybody. So I'm just gonna go to the last boss where the freak that is. Oh, here we go. Was invading another world sweep. Are oh, you farming? No, no, no. I'm trying to farm something. I'm trying to do PVP. Whatever box, probably not. All right, let's see what we got here, boys. How do I think I do a fight against Patty Pimlet? Well, considering the fact that he's bigger than me, I probably lose. For the same size of him, I think I'll do very well. Respect the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> what a baby! Whiz! Y'all can't fuck with me. I'm the police in this bit. Oh my god. Shit! Gotta fucking heal myself, boys. <laughs> Look at him all run after me. Get this motherfucker. Get him. <laughs> hey, bitches. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I need to be able to see what I run into. Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, stop dancing, bitches. Come on, do something. Damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, damn it. Attack one of the ladies. Uh, I can't. It should 100% be prox chat for this. Oh, dude, that'll be amazing. All right, let's go again, boys. That would be amazing. Proximity chat would be awesome. The window. Do I know, man. I was about to outrun them bastards. I'm going to try other Marines got the worst sports. You think so? I don't think it's bad. I think it could be better. I think like multiplayer could be a lot better. My personal opinion. Like I think it'd be cool to start the, the journey with someone from scratch and play all through. I'm back, motherfuckers. What's up, motherfucker? This guy's hella pissed. This bitch. Bullshit, dude. Oh, my back! There's so many of them. God 
God damn it. I'm gonna kill that bitch with that fucking stupid ass hair. I'm gonna get you fuckers. I'm gonna get you your next one. I guarantee it. Who is the best gamer in MMA? Whew. It depends. I mean, Dotson's pretty nasty on the sticks when it comes to uh, Call of Booty. Oh shit, no, no, no. My right, last time invading boys, and then we're gonna go try to kill that boss. Most real players will let that 1v1 happen and go from there. Yeah. <laughs> Raymond Diaz says, you're looking at him. Uh, Sugar Sean Molly's pretty good at video games too, at Call of Duty. Um, Who else is pretty good? Uh, Ray Page Jax is pretty good at games. Come on. Run to the top of the boss to help if he's alive. Oh, really? Now, nah, is the boss like behind a yellow screen or is he just chilling there? No, oh, Greer whooped me in Tekken 7 once. Really? Yeah, Rampage used to stream a lot on Twitch, man. He got, he got, he stopped streaming on Twitch because he's got tired of all the haters. I don't know, man. I think Henry gonna start Aljo. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying you're to hear. Hey, okay? when you guys, when Henry knocks out Aljo Marie Sterling, don't, don't, don't say I didn't tell you. Don't, don't say I, 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 I told you so. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to try to kill the boss once. Where do I go for the boss again? Is it this one? I forget. I think it says right here. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to fight this boss, boys. I'm going to call it a night. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys being here. I really do. Thank you for all the likes, the subscriptions, the donos. If you're looking for some new merch, check out in the description. All right. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Let me see if I remember his fight sequence. Okay, so we go this way. Yep. Boom. Boom. That look good. One, two. Dodge. Dodge. One, two. Two. And another one. Okay. Okay, now it's this way. Up, up. Up. Um, stop. Stop. Okay. Recall. Fuck! 
God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Did he tear my arms apart? I would have had him. Hora, Luke's warrior. I'll get him this time. If you want the same size as the bee, what would you be your game plan? Just fight. Go out there and fight. Not worry about my size. You go out there and fight. Our locks out of here with the Batista bomb. I know, right? All right, we got it this time, boys. That's one thing I do love about Elder Ring. It's almost like Tarkov. Once you learn the boss's animations and like the fight sequence, you never forget it. You just got to have a quick refresher and it always stays the same. How many of you guys have played Diablo 4? Any of you guys playing Diablo 4? You guys pumped for watch Diablo floor? No, floor. Diablo 4? Damn, 600 likes, boys. I can't wait for fucking Diablo 4. Um, it. We'll be playing it here. Last one, boys. Last one. Let's hope I'll kill him and be able to fight the bot. Last boss once, but it is what it is. I don't know, man. I'm gonna. I I, I don't know. I want to play Barbarian, but I also want to try the Rogue out. I'm a big fan of the Javazan, um, back in Diablo 2. Like, I love Asmongold, and when he said he hasn't played Diablo 2, I think he needs to play Diablo 2. Like, a, like I should reach out to him like, hey, dude, we should do a playthrough together. Diablo 2. Damn it. One more, boys. I gotta remember to call my. Uh, fuck. I want Diablo 2 remake. I have it. I mean, Diablo 2 remake is very, very slow. I mean, Diablo 2 is a very, very slow game. So I think streaming it wouldn't be as. 
run? It gets very, very, very slow. But I would love to do a playthrough with uh, Osmogar. I think it'd be dope since he's never played it. The animation got off. One more. God damn, it's nine o'clock. Features, uh, Nate Salanto, welcome to the stream. Uh, that's what you said about Elden Ring. What about that? What did I say about Elden Ring? Did you play the game Sareko? I did not play Sareko. Didn't you stream and like games? Didn't know you stream and like games. Oh, dude, I'm a huge gamer. I mean, I'll show you guys my uh, Diablo 2 account. I, I gotta know if it's still up. But. All right, last one, boys. I'm going to bed. This is it. All for the marbles, boys. Oh, my God. Asshole, man. One more, boys. One more. One more. One more. I want a good attempt. Uh, have you played Sedical? I already answered you guys, guys. I have not played Sedical. That is too slow for stream. I don't know if it's too slow for stream. Like, if you guys want a Diablo 2 playthrough, like, it's a very long game. Very long. Thoughts on cheat meals? I love them. I had Taco Bell yesterday. Which boss you struggle with the most on here? The Fire Giant. The first play through the Fire Giant. All right, here we go. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I'm fucking taking this, boys. chat damn it Na navy thank you so much for that $20 donation he says here playing my first run through Elden Ring while watching the goat Mighty Mouse play Elden Ring life is good can't wait for Mighty Mouse vs. Mariah's 3 going to be an epic show skill and technique thank you for that 20 dollar donation and on that we're going one more boys i almost had that damn it
I'm done, boys. We're going to bed. God fucking damn it, man. Pisses me off. One more. One more. Yo, my name is you got this champ. I'm going one more, baby. One more. One more. I was gonna go upstairs. I wanna go to bed and watch The Last of Us. I need to play this game. Yes, you do the fish 19. It's a lovely game. Alright, here it is, boys. Get hype. Drum roll. <laughs> Last of Us is good, I know, man. I can't really watch it. There we go. This is it. All from the marbles, boys. Best athlete in the world right here. That's fucking hacks, boys. That's what that is. That is straight fucking hacks. Fuck. Y'all can't say that is a fucking hacks. That took off pretty much all my life. All right, last one, boys, and I'm done. Okay, last one. I'm so confident I'm gonna pop this. Uno mas. Oh, you fucking cheater. God. Hope you have fucking diarrhea tonight, bro. Explosive diarrhea. Fuck! Oh my god! So you fuck fucker. Boom. on my mouth. You gotta dodge that shit, dog. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. Too fucking late. I'm already dead. There's no revival in this game.
Ladies and gentlemen. Black Sheep, thank you for that $2 donation. Have you ever been given a big bouquet of flowers? I have. My second dad does that. Very kind of him to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Because I enjoyed streaming for you guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to know when we go live again. If you want more Mighty in your life right now, and I have to go to bed because I need to get my beauty rest and make sure my skin stays nice and oily and shiny, check out the library. You might find something you might want to watch. Check out the Street Feed reaction. Check out me and Henry Tuhudo training. Shit, hell, check out me and Gary, Gary Tony training. The boys will be live tomorrow for some more Elder Booty or maybe Escape from Tarkov. So, be kind to one another. We love you. And you are somebody. See you next time.